Can you sit for us to have a healthy dialogue? Would you hate me if I disagree? Or you think you're better than me because of your degree? Why don't you get rid of your greed? Or you stood there for your knees begging the white money before you eat when you know we're surrounded by greens? Why don't you get up and question your brains? Why you still not fed up? Fighting for personal gains and through these wars we're craving pain. Our women and children, they die in vain. From left to the right, we selling out our own people. Nantini Pipcha, Mama Yen Jasa, we be evil. It's AJ Delson on Yen. Poetry ongoing there. Um, have you always wanted to be a poet? I am a poet. You are? Yeah. Great. Right. And then a musician. And a rapper. And a rapper. Yeah. Have you always wanted to be a, a musician? Have you always? Always. And, and when Since I gained been... consciousness. Wow. And I know what music means. Yeah. I've always wanted to be a musician. And how, how did it, 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 it come to you? How did you realize that, um, well, I, I, I want to be a musician and then um, in the future, this is what I want to do, this is the career I want to take on? I was about uh, six years old. Do I have to lead the question? Oh? No, no, you can go, you can go, yeah. I was about six years old when I realized the music was a thing for me. Is that because I was writing music on a wall? I used chapel to write music. I messed up my room. And I mean my mother's room, but back then it was we were living with our, our parents yeah, in the same room. And then I was playing football at the time. But music took over my life in a certain way that uh, it blew everybody's mind. My father thought I was gonna be a footballer, but inwardly I knew music was the thing for me. You, yeah. you just stated that uh, um, music um, makes you happy. Yeah. Now, if I got that from you. And then you earlier stated that when you became conscious, that was when you realized that the music is your thing. Yeah. Um, are you fulfilled? Am I fulfilled? As a musician? Always. 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 Music makes me. Uh, I don't know. I, the, the feeling I can't. I can't. This words can describe the feeling that music makes me feel. I mean, it's crazy. It heals me. It makes me angry. It makes me calm. It educates me. It, music is just everything for me. Well, you, you, uh, I get your point. You're saying that music is uh, fun. It's yeah. fulfilling. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people came back here yeah. in, 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 in Ghana. Uh, someone will say that this is music worth it. Um, uh, because if you look around, um, uh, you, could, you, you, you can only mention or pinpoint one or two people that really music is um, yeah, earning from music. Um, I can mention the likes of Sarko, the, uh, the likes of uh, uh, Chiang Kwani, and um, yes, of course, yourself. And uh, But is it worth it? Does music pay here in Ghana for you? A whole lot. Before uh, Chiang Kwani and Sarko, there were people who were really making tons of money for music. Don't forget the lives of Kojo MC, Dad Lumba, Nat Blue. Uh, 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 Fellas, Fellas Bear, Fellas Bear, all of those people. Nah, uh, 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 what's his name? What's the other guy's name? Uh, you know what I mean? We had, we had legends who really made money and they're still making money. Like uh, Uncle Ebotilas, he's touring around the world. So music makes money, it depends on how you approach it. Yeah, you have to put that business tag to it. We are actually going to come back to uh, the business part of the music and yeah. how to, as it were, brand yourself as a musician yeah. and to sell yourself out there. Uh, but going back to when you discovered that music is what you want to do, uh, can you tell us the age? Uh, a lot of times people would someone would say, okay, when I was uh, at, uh, I turned seven, when I turned no, four. I was uh, about, I remember vividly, I was about 12, 13, there about. Yeah, that was about somewhere in 1993, uh, 94, there about, yeah. But you were young. Yes. And uh, could, could you go back and try to remember, remember. The, the first lines that came to mind 
when you first came out that you could sing? My father bought me a, a, a tape from a, a British rapper called Fusami. Okay. And I can sing some of the songs on the, on the table there. Uh, I bo me dia eh, bo me dia mami wu, me wu ana sama sa ah bo me dia mami say, sama yo bo ni ah bo me dia. I remember so back then, rap wasn't a thing for me. You know, I didn't know much about hip hop music until I got introduced to it by my uncles, who were staying in it. I mean, the states back then. So we all wanted to be high life, I do high life music and stuff like that. High life, that's really mean. Yes, yes. Yes, okay, I love. So we're back to uh, how to brand yourself as a musician mm -hmm. and sell yourself out there. Uh, for a lot of upcoming artists, a lot of young folks who want to do music, mm -hmm. uh, the challenge is how to, as it were, package themselves and sell them uh, their, uh, their, 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 their talent. talent. And so for you, uh, what would you say? Um, if, if I say today I wake up and I want to be a musician, what do you do? What, what advice would you give in terms of branding, in terms of strategizing and selling my music? But I think the first thing first, first thing you have to identify with your audience. Know which people, or the uh, particular people who really like the, the stuff that you do, the music that you do. Once you know that, you, you can always, you know, you, all, you, you always know that if I put music out, I should put music out today, these people are going to buy my music. And then let whatever it is you are putting to them be colorful. I'm not saying colorful in terms of, uh, 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 what, what, I, I don't know how to say it. Like, uh, adding this trendy stuff to it, like, you know, become a bubble. No, colorful in terms of the message that you give to them. You don't just give them raw message. The way you dress, the way you carry yourself, the way you conduct yourself when you're being interviewed and stuff like that, the way you walk around people, you, 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 your company you associate yourself with, it's all part. And at the same time, you take care of your social media platforms and be careful about what you put out there because social media, I don't think you can hide anything. If you put something there today and, and delete it a, a minute after, I don't think it's, it's gone. Someone's, you, you get me? So, you yes. That the doesn't no, it doesn't at all. So you take care of all these things and let the music be your thing. Let people know that you can, you can, without music or without, yeah, without music, you're dead. Let them know. Once you let them know that this is what you are, this is me, this is music. I, I can't do nothing without music. People will really love you for that. Speaking about um, strategy, yeah. uh, would you say that controversy uh, is appropriate, as it were, as a musician, to push uh, your music? Yeah, controversy, controversy sells everywhere. It's been selling since before we were born. Uh, but me, I'm not, a, I'm not that type. I'm not really about controversies and stuff. I, 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 I like to sell people, I think to people in, I mean, in raw, in raw state, you know. But you think it's smart? It is, sometimes, not all the times. Sometimes it works. So we're bringing it back to the media. All right. Here and here. Uh, uh, we want to know. Do you think that the media here in Ghana is helping to promote uh, young artists, up, uh, up and coming artists, or even established ones? Uh, would you say that the media is uh, we are playing a very impactful role in, in promoting brands like yourself? Social media is doing well. Radio, I'm not even mentioning radio. Social media has been a thing for me. I can, I can only speak for myself. Uh, bloggers are doing well for musicians doing well for actors, doing well for even politicians. More than the radio and the TV, I mean, doing right now. So, me, I haven't had a, a single problem with any uh, blogger or, I mean, when it comes to, I was just a social media. Radio, they, they, they are all the time influenced by their, uh, uh, what do you call it, the heads and stuff like that. So, that, you can't control what goes on radio and, and, and the TV, but social media, you know, bloggers are our friends, and they, they, sometimes they work for us for free. Wow. Yeah. And I, I, I'm moving on to uh, the something that we are all expecting because I'm hoping, I'm, I'm thinking someone is going to wonder. Uh, they love your music. Sure. But who do you love? Who do you love? As far as rappers are concerned in Ghana. Like my top five or rappers? Top three. 
Top three, that's too, no, top three is small. At least let me go top five, because no, I don't want people to come for my head. We have a reason for limiting you. Top three. We know that you give us a tightest three. Can I add myself? Oh, I'm not bad. Well, we know that you love yourself. You love your music. So, so this one I'm not part. I should just give my top three that I like. Uh, first, I like Ochano Kwame. Why? Because he's smaller. He, he's like me. He doesn't waste bars for fun. I mean, for fun. He, he, whatever word up or Kwame puts on his music means something. Something meaningful. One. Secondly, I, I, I like Och I, I like uh, Sack. Because, because of the way he controls the chi language, the way he's, he has power over the chi language. He raps. I think he's a, when it comes to chi language, nobody, no rapper can rap better than Sarkozy. And the third one, Ia. Yeah. Yeah, El is dope. El is very dope. He's poetic. He's poetic. But we, I don't know, we are not listening to him. We are not. Uh -huh. He's working. His video is coming out in three days. Okay. Yeah, this is for you, L. <laughs> okay, so um, can you let us know? How, uh, speaking of the artists that you love, can you let us know also which five artists that you would like to feature? Uh, first, we all We've already worked. But I would like to have her again. Uh, Kim Promise, Kitty, Amaziba Nadru, and uh, Kina Yusuba. Great. Yeah. Great, great. Uh, those are very uh, huge names there. Yeah. Making waves all over. I know that uh, we are a featured part of Chavi uh, uh Maiden uh, yeah, album. Yeah, Ghana album. Uh, which was recently launched. Yeah. And, um, and I, had a, I, I did a track with her in. in 2016 called Power to the People. Yeah. That's great. How do you rate yourself? And uh, after you give me that answer, <laughs> I want to also know um, if you think uh -huh. that you would uh, be successful in this industry. Industry. How do I rate myself? How do you? Then where, the, where do you rate yourself? That should be the question about you. Oh, I'm a, I'm a world class musician. Okay. I'm a performing artist. I'm not a studio musician who just go out there and put out records and that's it. I perform live, I have a band that I, I perform with. I can pick up my bands and just move around the world and start touring once we get booked and stuff like that. And uh, I, I believe there's no one like me in this industry because of the direction that I, my music I'm, is taking. I am, I am more into message my message is apparent it's no sugar coated it's raw like that because my situation has always been raw so i always want to give people me nothing else and uh, yeah there's no one like me you're yeah basically you're saying that you are unique you're yes saying that you, you are true to yourself yes but somebody's wondering mm -hmm. aside the message aside the fact that you uh, you sound very poetic mm -hmm. somebody would ask uh, what makes you unique? What makes AJ unique? My message. Your message. The message in my music. Uh, give us a line. Just not, not, not singing the line. Yeah. If you could just repeat a message that you think is deep. Uh, yes. My message is very deep, but it's, it's understandable. It's not an English that is like Obama's English. He's speaking some deep stuff, but. Primary school, like cl class one uh, uh, student, will understand Obama's speech. I have a song that I said, uh, the greedy lifestyle of our leaders can make the boys to envy. Hangry, angry, no smiles anymore. Tommy is always empty. My foresight can't see. When I talk before they listen, I'm more than just an MC. My movement be gallant. My boys, boys be wildin'. The credit that holds the bank, huh? everybody is so silent. They're jumping up and down while they sign the death warrant. They blow up, then I slow up. Perish by their egos. I slow up, then I blow up. The classes for my people. You know? It's, it's, it's really something that you understand. That's right after, me, right after you hear it, you know, yeah, this is what the boy is saying. 
but how many MCs will go out like this? They will not, because they, 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 yes, they feel the media or the media will not give them. Uh, I don't know how to say. It. They will not give them the platform that they deserve because it's too political and, and straightforward. But we all can be we all can be in the same path. Politician. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, politicians. I'm sure people are expecting that uh, you have something under your sleeves. Uh, people are expecting you to uh, pull a big one. Yeah. Can you tell us uh, what uh, uh, plans you have this year? What are some of the, uh, I mean, the projects that you you're planning to undertake? Uh, people are expecting to see uh, a video from the album, like the first single, which I'm, I'm, I'm working on with Abraham Mohini Jan directing the video for me. It's coming up. And uh, at the same time, I'm doing I'm on my, the album tour. I'm doing the Africa Rise album tour. So I'll be touring around Accra. And uh, God, God is always on my side. So I mean, I believe people are going to book us and to just talk. I me, mean, I like traveling. Like, Traveling African countries, you know, I like Togo, Benin, Burkina Faso. That's where my father is from. Okay. So, you know, I have a little bit of French in me. So, then I, so many, I mean, good things are coming. Africa Rise album is gonna take us to places. Believe you me, brother. So, the fans will just look up for greatness 2019 to 2020. Well, you, you mentioned, uh, you just mentioned that you've, you loved traveling. Yeah. Um, and then your fans are. Uh, Outside the country, yeah. Have you have you had uh, uh, events outside the country specifically where? I did. I had an event in Togo. Togo that was in 2016. Yeah, 2016, and and we were supposed to have one in Benin, but it didn't work out right. And I was supposed to go to uh, Burkina for one festival, which didn't materialize. But uh, this year, everything is gonna come together, and I'm now. Targeting only Burkina and Togo and Benin, but I'm targeting Cote d'Ivoire. That's also where my mother's mother is from, you know. So, and the French people I appreciate acts way too much. So, I like to associate myself with my French brothers and sisters. And, and, and yeah. here to enjoy the nostalgia over your soul. Yeah, when you check on when you check out the records, I mean, when the, my album was released, and you know, I put it on all the platforms, and check out people who go out there and buy my songs. I think Ghanaian is just like one percent. People are people who are patronizing from Ghana, just one percent. The rest are from US, Norway, Germany, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, South Africa, Kenya, Mozambique, uh, Zimbabwe, you know, Cote d'Ivoire, uh, Burkina Faso and stuff. So I realized my fans are not really in Ghana. That's why if you if you've been following me, my, my target is really the, the stuff that I do is totally the opposite of what a Ghanaian musician would do. You get me? I'm trying to feed my, my, my fans. Okay. So we're in our next segment, where we're going now. We're going to have fun. Yeah. We're just going to play with certain things. And we don't play with my mind. No, we're trying to know certain things. And so uh, we've, we've done <laughs> a smash or pass. Smash or pass. pass. OK, so I, what I'm going to do is just I'll give you some names and then you select out of the two. Okay. Uh, I just mentioned names. names. Um, two things. It could be a name. It could be things. Uh, then you, what, whatever you like, you just choose out out of the two. Okay. So okay. basically, the smash and pass has to do with you're going to be giving a celebrity lady. Okay. You tell her that you're going to smash her. You like to have, have sex. Yo, you. nigga, let me put this shit now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> <that's laughs> I like the smash part. Yeah, so we're going to Yeah, let's smash some shit. Let's smash them. <laughs> Who doesn't want to smash? <laughs> yeah, so you got that. Hey. Okay, so smash or pass. The fear or door or AG uh, suffer. No, 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 no. Smash or pass, you give one and then you ask. Who is the AG or suffer? Imagine it now. No, no, no. Let's say our door. Where is this apple? Who's that? Okay, okay. Imagine one name is Mark. Who's Aja Zappo? Okay. It's Mark Zappo. Uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, the Tick Girl? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, DH1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes even... Uh, uh, what's the name? 
red carpet for BDM last year. I don't like her attitude. But, but cool. All right, so yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's go with that side. Okay. So you mentioned that they is it one at a time. No, no, you're not just selecting one after the two. You're not going to be out. Yeah, so it's So it's just one. Okay, so if you order. So if I say if you order, you either say pass or uh, smash. Okay. Okay, so. If you order. Pass. AJ Sapo. Pass. Jackie Apia. Smash. Yeah. Yvonne Nelson. That's a sister. But I can smash. You know? Yeah. Peace Hard. Pass. Okay. Bella Mundi. Smash. Sewa Amike. Smash! Okay. Nana Abba Anamo. Pass. Olivia Forsen. Smash. Sandra Ancobia. Smash. Fella McAfee. Pass. Miss V. Pass. Sister Ethia. Some stress. Pass. <laughs> okay, uh, Queen, uh, Queen Peasy. Who's Queen Peasy? But I play the other one. Pass, pass, pass. <laughs> the last one. The last one. That's the pass, pass, pass. And then we have Wendy Shay. Pass. Uh, I think we're done. Any, yeah. any what is the other side? No. Is, is that what they The give? second one is, uh, has to do with the channel party. So maybe I can wait for you. The other one has to do with the channel party discussion. So okay, okay, so just all check. Okay. Right. So maybe if he has any advice for the youth. Uh, in the oh, let, let me ask you this question. Do you believe in controversies? I think I have an answer on that. Oh. oh. Selling music. But it's different. Uh, yeah, it does a twist to it too. Yeah. Like he mentioned that Awale. He uh, has he sometimes he creates controversy to create itself to be, to be popular, to be all I think he he is controversy. What do you make of his behavior in the music industry? I like his music, but I don't like his lifestyle. Why don't you like it? He steps on people. That's evil. Wow. See, so would you like to try something like that? Creating beef? Never. Music? Never. It has to be on wax, it has to be like, you know, rappers going at each other, I mean, telling the world that to do it, but going at someone because of, I mean, hatred or jealousy, envy, you know, that's evil, so that's not something that you get me to do. I'm not saying he's evil. What he does is evil. Yeah. So what about the political atmosphere? What do you make of your mama's rulership and our father's rulership? I hate politicians. Hate, why, do you, why do you hate them? Because they are evil too. Wow. Yes. So what would you rather we do? Because musicians have power in Ghana. Yes. Apart from the, those in power in politics mm -hmm. who speak and then we all listen to them. These are some of the people who talk and then we all listen to Ghana. Yes. We listen. We should, do rather. We, should, we should just focus on doing what God has put us here to do individually. Yeah, yeah because politicians have nothing for you. They come to you when they need help. Once they get the help, get, you, you see where they go. Once you give them help by this, I mean giving them this, they don't know you. So they always come to you on your knees begging when they need your help. Without you, there will be no politician. We are the system. Are you religious? I am. I am a Christian. Yeah. I do. So all this purpose is about Dying and all that stuff. What do you make of them? Some prophecy, and they pray over it to I me mean, to redeem it. They say once God has revealed it to you, meaning I mean it has already been redeemed. So you don't have. To, I don't see the. I don't see why you should come out there. I mean, you should come publicly and uh, and say for people to stop. I mean. Dipping their, I mean, you're poking their, you're poking their nose into someone's business that they are going to die. Cause you know, the devil, the devil always wants you to alter a word or just say, it and they work on it. Your brain, the devil can't control your brain because he doesn't know what is there. But once it comes out of your mouth, they start working on it. Cause it, what that, <clears throat> once it comes out of your mouth, he knows what you're about doing. So those prophets, I don't believe them. I don't believe those prophets. Those doom, doom, doom. Yeah, I don't believe him. I have a prophet who is a prophet. 
Yeah. All right, so uh, the last word to your fans and then uh, those watching you. Uh, big ups to all my fans all over the world. My fans in GH, fans in Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, Benin, Togo, Ivory Coast, wherever, America, you know, Asia, wherever. Uh, keep doing you, keep doing your, yourself, keep standing out for greatness. Never back down, because you know you've come this far. And me together, we rise, divide and fall. You know, keep going, so you can't go no more. You know, the astronauts, they shoot beyond the sky, so keep going. Nobody can put you down. Only you can put yourself down. Rise up and power to the people. Social media on the square, your followers can put down. Uh, all right, on uh, Facebook, it's AJ Nels Music. The music is uh, like the way we spell it. M M U S I C, but on uh, Twitter is Agent Nelson Music. That music ends with K. On uh, IG the same Agent Nelson Music and wherever, go out there and check out the Africa Rise album. Then you know what I'm talking about. Africa must rise. <laughs>